HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to fill you in with what's happening in town. On this edition of HCAM News, we have highlights from the sectional semifinals for Hiller Girls Soccer. American Legion Post 202 hosted the annual Veterans Day ceremony and several Hiller athletes signed letters of intent to play in college. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. So the town of Hopkins was incorporated in 1715. I'm pretty sure the DPW that just got knocked down was built right around then. The ribbon cutting ceremony took place to officially welcome the new Hopkinton Department of Public Works facility. Here's a look. So this is the first time that I've spoke publicly about Tom McIntyre um, for a while and I don't know how it's going to go. So if I turn into a blubbering idiot, I apologize for that. He's up there, gonna, he's going to laugh hysterically at me if I do. Um, <clears throat> Outside of my wife and kids, I don't know a person closer to my heart than Tom. He was the best guy that I've ever met in my life. Um, taught me a lot of what it was like, like how you should be a dad, how you should be a husband, how you should be a father. Uh, Tom was the best. And if anyone disagrees with that, I'd be glad to have a discussion with you elsewhere, away from cameras. Um, and so now, instead of in that little building, that staff can maintain are 110 miles of road, 76 miles of water main, 40 miles of sewer line, 350 million gallons of water that is delivered, maintains 6,000 water meters, 668 fire hydrants, and 2,600 cat basins, and that's only the beginning. IDPW has done an amazing job with a less than amazing facility for many, many years. You know, they're, they're, the, they're the department that when everything's going well, nobody thinks about it. And, and to, to Claire's talk about the, the building, everything was going well, so nobody said, well, let's build them a new building. But I remember several years ago, um, just before I became a, a selectman, John invited me down, and right after a snowstorm, I brought a couple dozen pizzas with me to, to thank the guys for doing a great job plowing. And I said, where do we set up? And we were going into a room that was the locker room, it was the meeting room, it was the everything room, and it was about the size of that truck. And I just, I, I couldn't believe it. And so this was so, this was so long in coming, but it's uh, so well deserved. And I just really want to, again, thank the citizens of Poppington for stay, sticking behind the, uh, the DPW this time and giving them their, their, their due. On, uh, on zero, three, two, one. Goodbye extends its congratulations to the town of Hopkinton in recognition of the joyous occasion of the new Department of Public Works facility ribbon cutting and then a lot more stuff. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you everyone for coming today. I want to echo Claire's words. This building has been a long time coming and I know it's gonna serve the town well for a long time in the future. And I appreciate the kind words for about my small involvement in this project, but there are a lot of other people that were involved over the years on this project as well. Really too many to name them all, but I see a couple people here I wanna recognize. Uh, Jeff Alberti from Weston and Sampson and the design team over there. We didn't give him much room to work with here, but you did a great job, you got a nice Good looking building and a functional building, so thank you. Hopkinton High School hosted their annual international night event. Here's a look. Uh, my name is Kasia.
Simoni, I'm from, I'm Italian, and on International Night we uh, we did these posters. Basically, this is like a game, True and False, um, and it's gonna be so fun because uh, when we came here, we saw that lots of Americans don't really know uh, these things. And oh, and we made also posters right here about Italian gestures when we are explaining the meaning of our gesture. And it's gonna be so fun. This past Monday at Canton High School, the Hiller girls soccer team took on Notre Dame Academy of Hingham in the Division II South Sectional Finals with a win. The Hillers advance to the Division II state championship versus the North sectional champion. Here's a look at what happened. Throw in for the Hillers, scoreless between the ninth seeded Hillers and the six seeded Notre Dame of Hingham Cougars. Tom Nappy, Mike Terosian on the call. As broke on the entry, Mike also running camera on this beautiful afternoon. Here comes the Hillers, an opportunity here, shot to the left, and that's in! Goal, Hopkinton, Ali Bird! Comes with 14.54 left to go in the first half. And the Hillers, they have the lead. Allie Bird strikes again. She had the only goal in the win against Medway and she gets one here. On Monday, November 12th, another great defensive effort by the Hillers girls soccer team led to a sectional finals victory over Notre Dame of Hingham by a final of one to nothing. Your Hopkinton Hillers girls soccer team is the South sectional champions and the win earned them a trip to the state championship at Severian High School on Saturday, November 17th. The Hillers will battle North champion Winchester in the state finals. The game time is scheduled for a 12.30 p.m. start. The Hillers are 4-0 in the postseason and have outscored their opponents 5-0 in the playoffs. That's right, the Hillers have not allowed a goal all throughout the postseason. Out of 22 games the Hillers have played this season, they shut out their opponents in 17 of them and have allowed only seven goals all season long. The last goal the Hillers let up was all the way back on October 15th. Truly amazing defense. Head coach Wayne Sygrove is in his first season at the helm for the Hillers and is excited about advancing to the state finals. Right, so first off, a big day for a couple of uh, your players today. Uh, you had uh, Natalie Calkins, Gabby uh, Welding signing uh, the letters of intent. Uh, can you talk about what it's been like to coach those two? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, two senior, two captains. Uh, Natalie's out, been our goalkeeper, outstanding. She was just voted our unsung hero of the year. Um, only conceded seven goals all season, zero goals in the tournament. She's been a rock back there for us. Really happy that she's uh, carrying on her athletic career um, at Merrimack College, great school. Um, although she's not playing soccer, she's going to be playing lacrosse. Um, she's got a bright future ahead of her. Um, and same for Gabby, she's been outstanding. Voted a TVL All-Star, great leader, scored some vital goals for the girls. Um, and she's moving on to, to UMass Lowell to carry on her soccer career. So they have a bright future ahead of them. Coach, and this is your first year coaching uh, girls soccer, but the team just seems to be, get better every single game. And they've pitched shutouts throughout the uh, postseason. What's it been like to coach this group? It's been fantastic. It's been a great ride. We uh, obviously new season. Uh, so a few bumps in the road early on, getting to know the girls, uh, new system, um, new environment, new culture, new mentality, but the girls have really bought into the process. They've got better each and every game as the season's gone along. Uh, they've grown in confidence, they believe in each other, um, and to win their first tournament final, uh, my first season is fantastic and hopefully we can uh, finish off and win the state finals this Saturday. And how excited is the team to be heading to the state finals? Oh, they're pumped. They're, we had our banquet um, at the, uh, on Monday after the uh, tournament final um, and they're so excited. It's been, a, it's been an awesome season and uh, they just can't wait to get going on Saturday. 
All right, Coach. Well, congratulations. We wish you the best of luck Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations to the Hiller girls on another impressive playoff win. They advance to the state finals to take on Winchester. The game will take place Saturday, November 17th, 12.30 p.m. at Severian High School. Still to come on HCAM News, several Hiller athletes signed letters of intent to play in college. The American Legion hosted Veterans Day services in Hopkinton. And Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider, plus a whole lot more. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Welcome back to HCAM News. Several Hiller athletes have signed letters of intent to play in college. Here's a look. I'm signing to commit to Stonehill for women's golf for next year and the next four years. This and you've had a uh, excellent season. The Hillers took home the Division II state championship. Can you talk about uh, what it's been like playing this season and what it's been like playing for Coach Bliss? It's been awesome. The four years for Coach Bliss have been great. He's taught me so much about the sport and just how to love it and how to improve. And the team's been awesome. All the boys have been so inclusive all four years, and it's just been great. All right. What was it like to take home the state championship? That was awesome. The bus ride home was probably the best part. Everyone was so happy. So, um, especially get it twice in a row and being part of the team and captaining was just great. All right, well, congratulations, and we wish you the best of luck at Stonehill. Thank you. So I signed the National Letter of Intent to uh, die for the University of Rhode Island in the fall of 2019. Um, really excited. Excellent. And uh, how have you liked your career here at Hopkinton? I've loved it. It's really shaped me um, into who I am today. Um, I've had an amazing diving career and made a lot of friends along the way. Terrific. And what are you going to be studying over at URI? Um, I'm going to be studying elementary education because I want to be a teacher. Signed my national letter of intent for uh, to play soccer at UMass Lowell for my next four years. Excellent. You guys are heading to a state championship. Yes, on Saturday. What's it been like to play with this team and to play for Coach Sagro? Uh, it's been amazing. He's been incredibly supportive of all of us. Um, the team is so amazing. I love every one of them. It's been a great ride. I'm sad for it to end on Saturday. All right, what are you going to be studying at college? Uh, I'm going to be going into physical therapy. Terrific. Well, we wish you the best of luck and best Thank of luck you. in the state championship. Thank you so much. I am signing my NLI along the way to Journey. I'm excited for the next thing, but I'm excited for high school just to go on and like just everything from there, but I'm trying to live in the now. What's it been like playing for the Hillers? It's been really fun. It's kind of hard with the transition of coaches, but as a team we've kind of worked together to not ignore it, but like embrace the differences of the coaching staff. But I'm really excited for this year. Our team is stacked and we're going to pound other teams to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. Um, what are you going to be studying over at UMass? I'm not sure yet. I'm going in undecided, but I'm thinking of doing marketing and um, maybe minoring in psychology too, but nothing math and science. Terrific. <laughs> well, we wish you the best of luck. We're looking forward to this season. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Um, I'm signing my NLI. All right, and uh, you're going to be playing softball at Manhattan. Uh, what would you choose uh, Manhattan? Um, when I walked on the campus, I instantly loved it. It made me feel so um, at home. So 
I'm super excited. Terrific. What are you going to be studying over there? Um, biology with a concentration in pre dental. And uh, what's it been like to play for the Hillers? Um, it's been so great. Like All my teammates have been fantastic and I love it. Alright, well we're looking forward to this year. Best of luck in Manhattan. Thank you. I just signed my Division I National Letter of Intent for Merrimack College and I'm going to play lacrosse there. I'm super excited. Terrific. And uh, you're about to go to a state championship for girls soccer. Can you talk about what it's been like to play uh, for the Hillers in lacrosse and in soccer? It's been an awesome experience. Um, both teams bring a totally different atmosphere but both wonderful. And I'm super stoked for the game on Saturday. Terrific. What's it been like to play for Coach Sagro? Uh, really good. He's been a great new uh, coach and he's done a great job. Um, I'll be playing lacrosse at Stonehill College. Terrific. And uh, what's it been like to play uh, lacrosse as well as many other sports for the Hillers? Um, it's been so awesome. I think the experience is really amazing. And I'm really excited to continue playing lacrosse. Terrific. What are you going to be studying over at Stonehill? Um, I'm going in undecided, but maybe with a business focus or something like that. So. All right. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank and you. wish you the best of luck. <laughs> this past Sunday was Veterans Day, and it was a packed house at the Hopkinton Senior Center for the annual Veterans Day ceremony hosted by the American Legion Post 202. Minds to know thee, diligence to seek thee, and wisdom to find thee. Sanctify us with thy presence, bless us with thy might, and assist us with thy counsel, that all our endeavors may begin with thee, and through thee may be happily ended. Amen. Amen. You are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring agonies of pain, deprivation, and imprisonment. Before we begin our activities, we pause to recognize our POWs and MIAs. We call your attention to this small table, which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It is set for one, symbolizing the fact that our members of our armed forces are missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POWs and MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and, and families, so we join together to pay humble tribute to them and to bear witness to their continued absence. The table is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her suppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single rose in the vase <coughs> signifies the blood they may have shed in sacrifice to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. This rose also reminds us of the family and friends of our missing comrades who keep faith while awaiting their return. The red ribbon on the base represents an unyielding determination for a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us. A slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of their bitter fate. The salt sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless fallen tears of families as they wait. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us at this time. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope, which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home, away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. The American flag reminds us that many of them may never return and have paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedom. It is believed that later, that evening, after the burial, Colonel McRae began the draft for his now famous poem, In Flanders Fields. It reads, In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, Between the crosses, row on row, That mark our place, and in the sky, The larks so bravely singing fly, Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived. Felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. 
Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with those who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Let no one feel forgotten or neglected. Let every man and woman, young or seasoned, feel the deep and enduring gratitude of our nation and its people. You know that veterans can feel isolated and alone even in the midst of their friends and families because there are few around who understand their experience. Remind them often that while their, federal, while their fellow human beings may never fully comprehend, you see, you know, and you identify with them in everything. Lord, you know how deep a warrior's wounds go. You know the memories that haunt them and the scars that many of them continue to carry. Please bring healing to those veterans who still hurt. Reward them for their sacrifice, their service, and all that they have given. Bless them far beyond all their expectations and bless our time here today. In your holy name, amen. amen. I'd like to acknowledge a veteran here today um, for the proclamation from the uh, Department of Massachusetts uh, American Legion. The American Legion Auxiliary Department of Massachusetts, Massachusetts recognizes the female veteran is an integral part of the veterans community. And the national and department presidents have both adopted honoring uh, female veterans as their special project this year. Here in Hopkinton, we're going to take this opportunity to thank Betty Brannigan. You come up here, Betty. We'll just pose for a little picture, okay? <laughs> A whole lot of programming is coming up on the HCAM channels, including the full Veterans Day ceremony. Standing by to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and here's what's happening this week on HCAM. On Friday, November 16th at 5 p.m., Jazz folk based singer and songwriter Louis Apollon shares music inspired from all parts of the world on a brand new episode of Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. And at 8 p.m., the Coffee Break hosts chat with HCA co-director Chris Waldman about their upcoming holiday specials on a new episode of Hopkinton Coffee Break. On Monday, November 19th at 7 p.m., the Hopkinton High School features their annual International Night celebrating students' heritage on a brand new HCAM Ed special. And at 7.30 p.m., the Hopkinton Planning Board meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Tuesday, November 20th at 7 p.m., Tom Nappy takes a look at the recent celebrations for Hopkinton's veterans on a new HCAM News Focus. On Wednesday, November 21st at 6.30 p.m., Mary Arnott is back with Attitude and talking with the rambling priest Phil LaBelle on a brand new episode of Attitude. And at 7 p.m., the Hopkinton Library presents a panel discussion featuring local veterans on a brand new HCAM TV special. And also on HCAM Ed, the Hillers Girls Soccer vs. Notre Dame Academy game will air. If you want to know more about all of HCAM's shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash connect, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. And have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website hcam.tv as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community and check out the new Hopkinton community calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton related video photo or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.
Willis between the ninth seeded Hillers and the sixth seeded Notre Dame of Hingham Cougars. Tom <coughs> Nappy, Mike Terosian on the call. Has broke on the entry. Mike also running camera on this beautiful afternoon. Here comes the Hillers, an opportunity here. Shot to the left, and that's in! Goal, Hopkinton, Allie Bird! It comes with 14.54 left to go in the first half. And the Hillers, they have the lead. Allie Bird strikes again. She had the only goal in the win against Medway, and she gets one here. On Monday, November 12th, another great defensive effort by the Hillers girls soccer team led to a sectional finals victory over Notre Dame of Hingham by a final of one to nothing. Your Hopkinton Hillers girls soccer team is the South sectional champions and the win earned them a trip to the state championship at Severian High School on Saturday, November 17th. The Hillers will battle North champion Winchester in the state finals. The game time is scheduled for a 12.30 p.m. start. The Hillers are 4-0 in the postseason and have outscored their opponents 5-0 in the playoffs. That's right, the Hillers have not allowed a goal all throughout the postseason. Out of 22 games the Hillers have played this season, they shut out their opponents in 17 of them and have allowed only seven goals all season long. The last goal the Hillers let up was all the way back on October 15th. Truly amazing defense. Head coach Wayne Sygrove is in his first season at the helm for the Hillers and is excited about advancing to the state finals. So first off, a big day for a couple of uh, your players today. Uh, you had uh, Natalie Coggins, Gabby uh, Welding signing uh, the letters of intent. Uh, can you talk about what it's been like to coach those two? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, two senior, two captains. Uh, Natalie's out, been our goalkeeper, outstanding. She was just voted our unsung hero of the year. Um, only conceded seven goals all season, zero goals in the tournament. She's been a rock back there for us. Really happy that she's uh, carrying on her athletic career um, at Merrimack College, great school, um, although she's not playing soccer.